morning. So when I last left you, we were at Fontana Village, enjoying a very much needed Nero, doing laundry, eating some good food. Uh, so it is now the next day. We caught the morning shuttle back out to the marina and we have started our hike. Um, we've just passed the famous Fontana Hilton Shelter. It's very nice. What did it sleep like? 24? 24 people. There's showers nearby. I think if I wasn't so disgusting and in need of laundry, that's where we would have stayed instead. Uh, and a good meal. Yeah, and a good meal. But yeah, we're back out on trail and we're just about to pass over Fontana Dam and into the Smokies, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited about the Smokies. Our first national park. Yeah, it's the most visited national park in the US. Mm -hmm. And it's also the most biologically diverse park in the US. Dropping those facts. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, it's quite exciting. There is more bear activity in the Smokies than the places that we've been so far. Um, and so they're very stringent on where you can camp. So we have to camp at shelters. If you get there first, you have to camp inside the shelter. And only when that gets full do you then tent outside. Um, I have to hang my bear canister, even though the manufacturer specifically states not to do that because they do not tend to survive impacts if they fall. Um, but yeah, I have to hang that. So I'll probably have to hang my entire bag um, so that it can go inside it. Uh, what else? I think day hikers or section hikers get priority over shelters because they have to specify where they'll be camping. Um, so if uh, section hikers turn up last minute, they get the space, we have to tent outside. Um, I'm not too worried about bears, honestly. I'm mostly worried about just the weather and what it's gonna do because we'll be at such high elevations. So the highest point on the trail is actually in the Smokies and because we'll be at such high elevations, there's really no telling what the weather will do. It could, it could snow. <laughs> And I don't have any snow spikes. You don't have any snow spikes. It has been snowing over the last week. Apparently. Yeah, it's meant to be absolutely freezing on Monday. So we'll see how it goes. But yes, we have technically eight days to get through the Smokies. I don't know what they do if you take longer. Just haul you out. Yeah, I mean, just get a free free so, ride out of the Smokies, I guess. The dogs on. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we technically have eight days. I'm sure we will finish unless we have food for about five, six days. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this next bit and I can't wait to take you along. In a shocking turn of events, well, obviously I did not go up the fire tower, that I am zero for three there, uh, but Tribute was too scared to go up the fire tower. I went up one fifth of it. 
Good job. <laughs> no, that thing looks so rickety. I'm no. I went up the first bit, like to the first little platform at the top of the first set of stairs. Realized there was like no handrails and the whole tower was wobbling. Yeah. And I was very aware that my legs were quite sore all of a sudden. <laughs> so I was like, I don't trust them anymore. <laughs> yep, I'm not doing that. No, thank you. Um, yeah, the fire tower was off a little side trail, so we dumped our packs and walked up here. And now I feel like a baby giraffe trying to walk because I don't, like, my center of gravity is all thrown off. Um, so we're gonna go back down, have lunch, and then keep going. And hopefully not have any more scary experiences. It's on the top of every mountain down to the shore Then we'll put them down to rest For tomorrow holds another day for living I never Good morning. Uh, I come to you this morning, not yet fully awake. It's probably around nine o'clock. Um, yeah, yesterday was a long day. And the climb out of Fontana Dam was, whew, it was rough for me. Um, it was just such a high um, elevation climb. Um, and it took so long. So yeah, I was exhausted yesterday. And I think I slept pretty well. Um, but I did not want to get up this morning. I could have slept hours longer. But Tribute was already getting ready, so... Up we are. I think I realized yesterday that... It takes me, <laughs> it takes me a good three hours to fully awaken my body in the morning because uh, yesterday we started hiking at about 9 30 and it wasn't until around 12 30 that i felt like okay my brain is awake and my body so yeah i'm not a morning person at all so i'm just on autopilot these first few hours really uh, but today is also another 12 ish mile day um, ups and downs, but nothing like the elevation that we had yesterday, thankfully. So hopefully that means we should be getting to camp a little earlier. Um, not that we were too late yesterday anyways. But yeah, it's day two of the Smokies. Yeah, it's just a shame that it's not yet quite spring yet. So everything's still pretty dead around here. Um, otherwise, I have a feeling this would be an even more beautiful park than it is. But yeah, we're enjoying it, and I will catch you later. evening. We made it to the shelter tonight. Um, 
it was an okay day. Like the first half was pretty good. It was pretty quick. Then we had a break for lunch about six miles in. And then for some reason, the last half was just a slog. And everyone else when we got to the shelter seemed to agree. So we're glad it's not just us. But yeah, um, we're preparing for a very cold night tonight. A very cold day tomorrow. I think tomorrow is only supposed to be a high of about 24 Fahrenheit. And then tomorrow night, where we're planning on camping, which is almost, I think it's at about 6,000 feet um, of elevation, the next shelter is meant to be negative four with wind chill. So if the shelter has a tarp like the other ones have had, and we huddle up, then I think we should be okay. Um, a lot of people at the shelter tonight are talking about pushing 18 miles to get to Newfound Gap and then getting a shuttle to Gatlinburg so that they can avoid the cold for tonight. But <laughs> I just don't think I am in a state to do an 18 mile day, especially considering that we are going to Klingman's Dome tomorrow, which is quite a trek up since it's the highest point on the trail. So I think we're going to take our chances and just just do just do a 13 mile day and see how it goes with um, how cold it is tomorrow. But yeah, that is that is the update. Um, otherwise, the Smokies have been treating us well. We haven't seen any big animals, though. Some people said they saw wild turkeys and such, but no luck for us. But you never know what's around the corner. So I will catch you guys later and wish me luck for tonight. What is up? We are just stopping for lunch and we're two and a half miles away from the 200 mile marker and 2.8 miles away from Klingman's Dome, which is the highest point on the trail. So yeah, we're just ch chugging along today. We've stopped at the shelter for lunch. Some people left a bunch of random stuff. Somebody left a solar charger, a pair of glasses, Somebody else left a pillow. The last shelter we passed, somebody left like a sleeping pad or like a foam mat. So I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if people are leaving things on purpose or what, but yeah, I'm absolutely starving. The, the groups that went ahead of us this morning, the ones that are trying to pull for 18 miles today, they're like, we're not stopping for lunch. And I was like, I would be so hangry if I ever did that. I absolutely need lunch right away. So that's what we're doing. Uh, yeah, so it's a nice little spot. We're just gonna hang and keep going. We are aiming for 13 miles today total. So Klingman's, from the shelter we were sleeping at, Klingman's Dome is 10 miles. And then the shelter is another three downhill. Um, so whatever the math is on that is how ma however many more miles we have left today. So yeah, we're not going to push ourselves or anything. We're just going to take it easy and hope we can stay warm tonight. So yeah, I will catch up with you later. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I dug a cat hole for the first time this morning because there was no privy at the shelter. So I think I'm finally a real through hiker if I have pooped in the woods. So yeah, the shelters in Tennessee don't have any privies, um, but the ones in North Carolina do. So we're strategically 
putting our lunch breaks at Privies that do have it. Oh, and if you're curious what I have for lunch every day, I have a whole wheat flour tortilla, put some tuna in there, put some cheese in there, and then I've got a bunch of other random snacks like almonds. I'll probably have like an entire Snickers bar or something later. So yeah, fuel. Um, I am slightly jealous of all the people who are going into town um, and they get to eat town food. I've been craving Wendy's, but alas, I think we're just going to keep, keep on keeping on and finish the Smokies in one go. So yeah, now I will catch you later. to Klingman's Dome and we have the place all to ourselves and it's beautiful and it's cold oh. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty up here we got so lucky with the weather you can see so far who's that one guy that told us you can see like seven states yeah. from up here but yeah apparently the yeah the air pollution gets so bad that some days you can't see very far so it's definitely a good day to be up here, even if it is absolutely freezing. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. Whew, we survived last night, but oh my god, was it freezing. <clears throat> um, I think the temperature this morning, after the sun had already come up, was about 15, 16 degrees. So, God only knows what it was last night. It took me hours to fall asleep. Um, and we woke up this morning and the water that we had left in our bottles, it wasn't a lot, but it was still a little bit. It's completely frozen solid. <laughs> so basically we're just trying to book it out of this shelter, which annoyingly is half a mile off the trail. So now we have to backtrack. Um, I don't, I don't really know what the plan is for today. Um, I think we're gonna get to try to get to Newfound Gap. Well, we will get to Newfound Gap. It's only five miles away. Um, hope there's some trail magic. I don't know. Um, it better be. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, shelter was beautiful. If it was anywhere but a really, really dense wood, with a heavy tarp. I don't know what we would have done. <laughs> it 
would have been even worse. So I slept with my water filter. I've got it underneath my jacket right now. I'm just really hoping that it doesn't freeze. And it's pretty stupid that you can't even find out whether it's frozen or not until you get sick, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go now because my hands are freezing and I just need to walk really fast to warm up. Okay, bye. I'm sat here at Newfound Gap. Um, I'm just hanging out. I think Tribute's in the bathroom, so I'm just waiting for him. And this hiker comes over to me and asks me, are you a through hiker? And I say, yeah. And he goes, oh, we got a lot of food in town. But we couldn't finish it. Do you want this giant cinnamon roll? So of course I said, yes. Oh my God, it's exactly what I need. It wasn't the trail magic I expected, but it is much needed. Oh, I think Tribute's coming back. Let me eat this before he comes back. Hello. So, we're coming out of Newfound Gap. We just had a brief little stop there. Um, and actually, just as we were about to leave, a woman came up. <laughs> a woman came up to Tribute and I and said, Are y'all trail uh, through hikers? And we said, Yes, we are. She said, Oh, do you want any... Dr. Pepper, do you want any Coke? Do you want any snacks? Um, so she offered us a whole bunch, and even though it's absolutely freezing, I accepted a can of Dr. Pepper, and that was much needed. And she also gave us some water, because ours were still completely frozen solid. So it's nice to know that we now have drinkable water. Ooh, some ice. Let me just step over this. <sighs> so yeah, we are carrying on. There's a shelter. There's a shelter about three miles away and then another shelter about 10 miles away. So we'll see how we're feeling, but ultimately I think <laughs> we just didn't want to spend money on a Nero into Gatlinburg. So here we are, still on the trail. Then I'm gonna go now because it's very icy and I don't want to fall. I'll catch you later. Day five of the Smokies. We're getting a little bit of a late start today. It's pretty much 10 o'clock and we've just made the half mile trek out of the shelter and onto the trail. 
Um, I think I slept pretty well last night. It was only a low of 31 degrees rather than the single digits that we got the night before. So that was pretty good. Um, I've also been accumulating things that I've found at shelters to help me stay warm. So the really cold night, somebody had left a buff at the shelter and I was like, yes, please, I'll have that. Three buffs to sleep in. Um, and then last night, when we got to the shelter, somebody had left one of the small Nalgene bottles. And I have one at home, but I didn't think... Well, I didn't want to bring it because I was like, oh, it's just too much extra weight. But they're really nice. If you boil some water and stick them in the Nalgene, uh, it's leak-proof. So you can just put it inside your sleeping bag and have yourself a nice hot water bottle whilst you sleep. So yeah, I think that also improved my sleeping experience last night. Um, I did keep thinking I was hearing footsteps outside the shelter and it was like pitch black, but Trippy said he didn't hear anything, so I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, there was also, <laughs> Ever since, for the past few weeks, since Georgia, I'll be hiking, and let me know if anybody else has found that this has happened to them. I'll be hiking, and then I'll hear like a very deep thumping noise in the woods, and I'm like, what the hell is that? And I'll stop. At first I was like, is it my heart? Is it something on my pack? It's almost as if you like drop a basketball and as it gets closer to the ground, it like quickens. So it's like a do 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 do. <laughs> Tribute said he didn't hear anything. Have you heard anything so far? Not like that. No. Still hasn't heard it. But I looked it up. Thank God. And I found like one or two references to the fact that it is a male ruffled grouse. And it makes that thumping noise as its mating call. So it's not anything extraterrestrial or I don't know. There's not something wrong with my heart. So yeah. Um, what else? What else? Yesterday was a 15 mile day. Today we are shooting for 13 miles and then tomorrow will be 11 miles and we will be out of the Smokies. So, good progress, I think. Uh, I hope I can make it, because we were just coming up out of the shelter this morning and I felt a really sharp pain in the front of my hip that I've never felt before. So, who knows what's up with that. Um, and let's hope it doesn't reappear or get worse. All right. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. morning and welcome to the last day of the Smokies. So it's a very beautiful day today. I think it's a high of around 50. Um, so it's going to be a great day for walking. We have about 10 miles to Davenport Gap, which is our exit point from the Smokies. So that's very exciting. 
and then we have like another mile, mile and a half after that to get to Standing Bear Hostel, which is where we're going to be staying tonight. Um, but we are not planning to stay any more than one night because we want to get to Hot Springs, North Carolina, where we can take a nice proper zero. So yeah, yesterday was really good. We made really good time, even though we left so late in the day. Um, we arrived at the, at the shelter with, you know, plenty of daylight left. <laughs> the only, um, I guess the only, like, jarring thing is when, again, hike your own hike. But when you're like, oh yeah, I've done such good miles today. Like, I'm right on schedule. And then you get people showing up to the shelter who have, like, started a week after you. And they're already doing, like, 25 miles a day. But it is what it is. So yeah, I will catch you guys later. What did you think of the Smokies? I thought they were incredibly beautiful. They're very cold. Yeah, I think <laughs> it was a it was a shame that we didn't we weren't there in spring. I think we we're just a bit too early. But I think like the views were incredible. You yeah. could still see. You could tell there was still like a lot of nature. That was just very. Like, just, it was interesting passing through because when you started, it, it was all like the new growth mm. stuff that we're used to. Then you go into the old growth, then you go into like the coniferous trees at like really high altitude, mm. and then back into the new growth forests. So it was still really interesting nature-wise to see all the different transitions. I think we had a trade-off between going through early enough that we weren't surrounded by crowds, mm. but the forest wasn't as full of life as it would be. Yeah. I enjoyed having Clingman stones to ourselves though. Yeah, cool. I think all things considered, we got really lucky with mm -hmm. the weather. Cause like yes it was absolutely freezing but we got it through clear. it yeah we got through it it was clear beautiful days which apparently is really rare on Clingman's dome mm -hmm. we didn't have rain we didn't have snow there was a little bit of ice but it was passable so yeah i think we we timed it like perfectly and we got through the smokies yeah. just on time <laughs> um and now we're done and we're here at standing bear farm hostel it looks very interesting so i'm sure i'm gonna do lots of videos um yeah we're gonna put our feet up get a pizza oh i'm gonna put my feet in the creek that's right in front oh, yeah. of the our cabin for sure oh, i'm very proud of you, you. oh your back is very yeah, sweaty I know, don't touch okay <laughs> <laughs> all right well that was the smokies guys thanks for watching and we'll see you whenever or wherever we next talk yeah hot springs, maybe. yeah maybe hot springs <laughs>
gonna love you till the stars go out Shelter up above you till they all fall down We ain't got life, we got love We ain't got life, we got love Feathers in the heavy rain Two of us together can weather any change It comes our way Nothing here really feels like home Home is who you with when you don't feel alone 